<laughs> Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. I'm glad that you uh, have weathered the storm. Is that the ocean way too? <laughs> Every once in a while we get a storm. Well, what we're doing today is we're going to talk to you about the number one USDA approved antioxidant. What that means is there's good stuff in plants, right? There's really good stuff in plants. They call them antioxidants. Well, there's no better antioxidant in the world than dark chocolate. The cocoa, the raw cocoa, has more antioxidants than anything else. I can say that because the United States Department of Agriculture has published that. With that in mind, I'm going to give you black and white facts about dark chocolate. With that in mind, I got four degrees. And I have the clinical degree, and I have the board certifications, and I have all the naturopath. And you know, when I boil it down to one sentence, one single sentence of what I've learned, it's this. The body will heal itself if you give it the right tools, healthy tools. How many of you believe that? How many believe your body can regenerate, can prevent disease, and does so every day? It does, it happens, we have to give it a little bit of a help, but it can only handle so much. Who also believes that? I have seen people who get in places where they're taking in toxins, and they live in places with pollution, and they live with people who eat food that is bad for them, so they start eating bad food for them. And Jeremy's so kind to hand off that microphone so I'm not stuttering as we go. With that in mind, at some point in time, our bodies can't keep up. Too much pollution, too much toxins, too many problems that are building up in our body, and it can only keep up so far, it hits a tipping point, it can no longer keep up. With that in mind, the number one cause of this is a free radical. Now, I know this is California, and I know we just had an election, and that's not what a free radical has to do with. <laughs> uh, free radicals have to do with what's going on in the body. And I'm going to stand in a place where I don't keep getting lost. If I stand over here, will it be better? I <laughs> know. Free radicals are everywhere. They're in our air, they're in our water, they're in our foods, they're everywhere. What they are is they destroy the body from the inside of your cells out. One cell at a time. And if we accumulate too many free radicals, guess what happens? We start to develop degenerative diseases. So at some point, the body can't handle any more of these free radicals. The result is degenerative diseases like the big five or the big four or you've been hearing about. Heart disease, cardiovascular disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, all of these things start to develop and they're all caused because free radicals damage one cell at a time and our body can't keep up. But with the use of antioxidants, dark chocolate is the best of all the antioxidants, the body can neutralize the free radicals. So here's something just to shock you a little bit. Did you realize that every single airplane that takes off dumps 1,000 gallons of toxic fuel into the air? Every single plane. You've seen it in the exhaust. They floor it, up it goes. And you can multiply that by about 1,000 airplanes a day in this area, or 10,000 planes sometimes in some areas. Now, because 96% of the fuel that's unburned is dumped, dumping benzenes, which can cause cancer, toluene, ammonium nitrates, all of these cause cancer, and they're dumping it in the air. Here's what they're finding about people that live around airports. <laughs> I'm doing this on purpose, right? Okay, they're finding that within 50 miles of the airport, depending on the wind, there's a 400% increase in cancer. Now, this was, this was published, and people are going, oh my gosh, we've got to do something about it. And you know what they're doing about it? Well, you've seen it at John Wayne Airport. They floor the gas and they take off and they go straight up and then they back off on the throttle and they say, there, it's noise abatement and we're not dumping as many problems into the air. But the point I'm making is you can't control what's in the air. 
You can't control what's in the water. I could scare you about what's in your water too. I'm doing it on purpose so you'll realize there's a demand for something healthy in your body. Because it's possible that a single cell in your body, every single cell in your body, is being attacked by these free radicals in the air, in the water, in the fumes, all around us all the time, and our body can't keep up. And we're developing diseases like breast cancer. We're developing diseases like arthritis, and we don't want to. So let's take a look at what, a, what this looks like in an electron microscope. I've got a photo here of a red blood cell that's healthy. Now, on the right, you can see that what a healthy red blood cell looks like in a microscope. Healthy, red, it transfers oxygen, neutralizes toxins, but if you put in under that microscope the same cell and expose it to free radicals, what happens is what you see on the left. Oh, I should turn around and do it this way. Okay, opposite to me. The nasty looking cell is what happens when a drop of fuel, gasoline, gets in contact with a red blood cell. Look at that. Totally destroying it. And as soon as one free radical steals an electron, it creates two more free radicals. And they create two more free radicals. And they create two more free radicals. And you can see this cell is totally consumed in a matter of seconds because of one single free radical spreading in a cascade across that cell and damaging it. Now you've seen a free radical. Nobody knows what they look like, but here's what's happening. A healthy red blood cell becomes a damaged cell. And anything that it touches gets damaged as well. And they damage, and they damage, and they damage until a whole tissue, until a whole body system is inflamed. Because the immune system is trying to stop this at the same time. Isn't it easier to just take high levels of antioxidants and neutralize that before it ever starts happening? Now, if this is on your skin, on your face, it's called aging. And it shows up as age spots and wrinkles. If it's in your intestines, you start to develop diseases. You know, the ones they find when you go in your 50-year-old colonoscopy. You know what? It damages tissues, but it can be prevented. Free radical cause cellular damage that trigger inflammation. So, it's been associated with 85% of all chronic diseases. Meaning, if you have too many free radicals, that are not being neutralized by antioxidants, you're developing diseases. Antioxidants equal anti-aging. I'm an anti-aging doctor. I'm even a chairman of that branch of medicine. So I announced to all the audience of doctors when we go to our trade shows, here's the next doctor, here's the next discovery, here's the next product, and you know what 90% of them are? antioxidants in creative form. Yet they keep forgetting the finest antioxidant out there is dark chocolate. So antioxidants provide scientifically proven hope. The most and the finest naturally occurring antioxidant is dark chocolate. That comes from the United States Department of Agriculture. So let's take a look at this. There's over 6,000 studies done on dark chocolate. And my purpose now is to give you confidence that dark chocolate is the finest antioxidant and has the most dramatic benefits on preventive health and even degenerative disease health. So let's take a look at just a few of the things. You've got Harvard that's published hundreds of studies on it. Yale, Oxford, University of California in all of its different cities. Purdue, universities in Finland, in England, in Germany, in Japan, all over the world are getting on board and saying, yes, indeed, dark chocolate is what we say it is. By the raise of hands, how many of you have heard on television or radio that, in fact, dark chocolate can help your body? Look at this. Everybody's hand is up. It's happening. I'm here to quantify that for you. To tell you that 
Chocolate is in two categories, the candy category and the shosai category. The only place to get the right healthy dark chocolate. 200 of the most prestigious medical journals in the world have published medical benefits of dark chocolate, including the British Journal of Medicine, Journal of American Medical Association, New England Journal of Medicine, American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, Dermatology, Dentistry, all these different places are finding the benefits of dark chocolate, not the benefits of candy chocolate. See, there's a big difference. The dark chocolate without sugar, without fats, without the different kinds of fats, without the waxes, without the impurities and preservatives, gosh, the dark chocolate's really terrific and healthy. That's the difference between us and the candy form of chocolate. There, are o there is only one company that has earned the right to use the trademark name Healthy Chocolate, and you're here today to hear about that. So with the science that I'm presenting to you, I hope that you'll agree this is Healthy Chocolate. The International Journal of Cosmetic Science recently showed that the antioxidant mixture featuring cocoa antioxidants was effective at protecting skin cells from damage and DNA alterations. Meaning, if you actually are consuming this, it's helping inside your body and on your skin, the DNA the damage that can occur from sun is being reversed and prevented. Here's a picture of such. This is not his prison photo. <laughs> he is a good sport. He lets us talk about him like this. But if, you, if I show you the before side and you look at the after side, he's taking internal, no gels, no creams, no anti-aging formulas on the surface. How many of you, by the raise of hands, would rather be 90 days later in the after photo than his before photo? Yeah, and that's good enough. I don't even have to tell you anything more other than here's his wife. And she is doing all she can to keep from smiling. And she says, you can't show this picture. It makes me look old. I says, no, it doesn't. How many of you here in the audience think she looks younger in 90 days? I do. I think she looks terrific. Now, some of the lighting is a little different, but the skin texture, the smoothness and the softness is obviously getting better. And this is from taking encapsulated cocoa. In addition, healthy chocolate is anti-aging. Now, according to the British Journal of Medicine, they report that ingesting high antioxidant chocolate, that's what we call the healthy form of chocolate. You can see that it helps improve eyesight in this study. I know that was a pun, you can see. But it improves the eyesight. The overriding reason why is it dilates blood vessels and the tiniest blood vessels in your eye. The tiniest blood vessels that are in your eye, they dilate so you don't have a problem with as much of the associated problems from diabetic-induced blindness. Others have found that you can improve energy, have better memory, less joint discomfort, more youthful skin and hair, better cardiovascular and cognitive function, all from consuming chocolate on a daily basis. In fact, you can get more antioxidants from three squares of healthy chocolate than just about any other way. So the point is, three squares, uh, three squares of dark chocolate every single day is a very terrific preventive way of neutralizing the free radical damage that causes tons of problems, 85% of all of our diseases. In fact, how many of you would rather eat six and a half pounds of spinach than chocolate? Because that's the equal amount. Would you rather eat six and a half pounds of spinach or a couple of pounds of tomatoes? Or you can get just as many healthy antioxidants from a couple of squares of chocolate a day. See how powerful this message is becoming? Healthy chocolate benefits all the body systems, every one. 
Every single body system is benefited because the circulatory system is being improved inside the body. Harvard even reports that blood pressure medication alone doesn't keep blood pressure down as much as healthy foods do. And which is the healthiest of all the foods? Dark chocolate or healthy chocolate. In addition, dark chocolate can help reduce inflammation. In the latest medical journals, it's documenting that inflammation is the cause of most diseases. Inflammation of the cells in the brain can cause damage and Parkinson's or Alzheimer. Inflammation in the heart can cause heart disease. If we can stop the inflammation, we can stop the degenerative diseases. That's what dark chocolate does, stops the inflammation. In fact, Harvard has a doctor, his name is Eric Ding, and he reports that dark chocolate improves insulin sensitivity in the diabetic, and all of the symptoms associated with diabetes can be reduced simply because Harvard has measured a benefit in reducing inflammation in the cells that are becoming sensitive to diabetes. The British Journal of Medicine says a substantial reduction in the risk of metabolic disorders such as diabetes is occurring. So not only do the symptoms be re can be reduced, you can actually work right at the pancreas and have a benefit on diabetes there. Eating a small square of dark chocolate three to four times a week may provide 25 times as maybe 25 times as effective as taking statin drugs. Those are the anti-cholesterol drugs. How many people know someone on a cholesterol medication? Do you know it's the number two selling drug in the entire world? And here's a study that says, my gosh, you can prevent heart disease with dark chocolate 25 times better than the drug. In addition, healthy chocolate helps with weight loss. What they found is, no, that doesn't make sense. This is a doctor talking about chocolate and weight loss. She's chuckling, they're laughing, they're rolling their eyes. You know what? Dark chocolate without the sugar, without the fats, shouldn't surprise you that it can help reduce fat because fat's an inflammatory disease. As an inflammatory disease, if we can take enough antioxidants, we can reduce inflammation even in the fat cells. In fact, in this study on a shake, the protein shake containing high antioxidant chocolate showed an average weight loss of 31 pounds. That occurred in 12 weeks and zero patients dropped out. Zero, that never happens in a clinical journal study like this. This is published in the weight loss specialists, they're called bariatricians. This is published in their medical journal. What they found is nobody dropped out. When they were interviewed, you know what they said? Why would I drop out? It's chocolate. <laughs> but this is a healthy chocolate without the sugars and without the fats. In addition, stroke, dementia, mood problems, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, depression, as well as cognitive and mental functions are all benefited by healthy chocolate. Harvard says this. Yale says this. Cambridge says this. The finest institutions in the world say this. Here's a hypertension medical journal that says, healthy chocolate offers very powerful protection to the brain and its blood vessels from free radical damage and inflammation. I'm sending the right message, aren't I? This is good for you, this is healthy. How many people believe already this is good for you? Then the rest of what I'm gonna tell you is, how good is it for you? British researchers say, Quote, right from their medical journal, high antioxidant chocolate helps maintain the number and quality of synaptic connections, that means nerve to nerve connections, which prevents the progression of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer. How would you like to slow the progression, prevent the development, and maybe even help reverse possibly Alzheimer? This is a journal article, I do. I'm telling you this is 
something you want to take three times a day. That means chocolate. We conclude that cocoa, procyanidins, those are antioxidants we measure in the chocolate, are potent immune stimulators. In other words, you're going to have a healthier immune system. Free radical damage can spread to other tissues, but our dark chocolate helps prevent it. This is a slide of a microscopic picture of skin, and this skin happens to have cancer. The dark black cells at the bottom are developing, and this shows that whatever dark black cell is in there Let's try that again has the opportunity to infect the other cells through free radical damage, and guess what happens? The cells touching them become cancerous. Free radicals are the cause. And you saw a picture of what it does to a red blood cell, stealing an electron, causing a free radical to occur. They cause more, and this is spreading of cancer. Yet Harvard comes out and reports 75% of people over the age of 65 years of age prefer to eat dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate because they prefer the heart and brain benefits. Who, who just in what I've told you today would rather eat dark chocolate than a Snickers bar? Yeah, it's starting to happen. As soon as you get a little education, you start to recognize there's some healthier benefits. Now, let's take a look at somebody who did not take their healthy chocolate. This gentleman is 43 years of age. That's true, by the way. He's a Native American. He lived in a teepee, worked on a farm, was in the sun every day, never did anything to do uh, any sunscreen, no chocolate, no prevention of radiation and free radicals damaged his skin and turned it into what looks like a leathery Sharpe puppy. With that in mind, that's exactly what happens inside your arteries. That's exactly what happens inside your eyes, your kidneys, your liver. This wrinkled and puckered up look is exactly what livers look like when they're damaged by free radicals. Yet, could it have been prevented? Yeah, he needs to be a whole lot younger looking in that, but it's not reversible in some cases. Here's an instance where you've got liver on one side that's healthy, on the other you can see it's damaged from free radicals. What are the free radicals in this case? Alcohol. Alcohol is a free radical damaging it. Dark chocolate has 20 times higher ORAC value, O-R-A-C, is something that stands for oxygen radical absorbance capacity. It's the measurement of free radicals and antioxidants. In other words, a higher ORAC value means higher antioxidant protection. Dark chocolate's 20 times, not 20%, 20 times more powerful than fruits and vegetables. This is important because this is a microscope scan of a bone. This bone scan shows what healthy bone should look like on the one side. On the side in the center, you can see that it's hollowed out and become osteoporotic. What that means is you get thinner and thinner bones, one cell lost at a time from one free radical doing just what you saw in that earlier slide to a red blood cell it does it to bone cells as too to cells as well too here's the numbers from the United States Department of Agriculture independent review showing that in fact dark chocolate has a ORAC rating 13,120 well, compared to cherries of only 670, raspberries of 1,200, strawberries 1,200, you can see 10 or 20 times higher value of the healthy stuff that's found in healthy fruits and vegetables. This is a photograph under a microscope of a single cancer cell. Again, it spreads by free radical damage. And see all these little spikes that are spreading out? When they hit another cell, they spread and cause cancer. Those are the free radicals. You've now seen what a free radical does to a cell, and in a microscope, you've seen the little fibers, one at a time, infecting cells. 
It happens in your arteries, happens in your veins, happens in your brain. It can cause memory loss, fatigue, all these other problems associated with degenerative illnesses. Yet NASA did a study and they sent astronauts into outer space and they wanted to reduce their free radical damage and found that by giving them an antioxidant, even the astronauts were being protected. Journal of Cardiology says dark chocolate reverses dysfunction and damage in the arteries of the heart. In addition, you've got Journal of American Medical Association that says antioxidant constituents of cocoa, in other words, what our dark chocolate is made of, can be measured in the bloodstream 30 minutes later and it lasts for five hours. So how often do you want to have a square of chocolate that's healthy chocolate? Every five hours. Every five hours. And that's just not an opinion. This is a medical journal suggesting that. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition says antioxidants reduce cardiovascular risk because they reduce the stickiness of the platelets. In other words, your cells don't stick together and cause blood clots, which is the number one cause of heart attack and stroke. This is anti-aging medicine. Everywhere circulation can take and deliver the blood, and it only takes 30 minutes after eating a square of chocolate to give your body this type of anti-aging prevention. Now, we've got a study called Middlesex University. I know it's an unfortunate name. But look at what they've published in a medical journal that says Alzheimer patients were given an unlimited treatment of dark chocolate because it benefited them so much. Here's what they found. Benefits included improved eyesight, brain function, and they found that just a whiff just the aroma of dark chocolate is enough to put people in a good mood. Are you paying attention to this man? Wake up. <laughs> Women already know this, am I right? Yeah. Women know this to be the fact. Well, now we're documenting it in medical studies like women who ate dark chocolate during pregnancies gave birth to happier, more positive, and more active babies. Who knew that? Women with intuition. Is there a man's hand up? Not one. Number one, is it safe for pregnancy? Yes. Is it beneficial to the woman? Yes. Is it beneficial to her newborn? Yes. Those are really terrific findings. In this same study, they found that dark chocolate-loving men I love this. This is maybe my favorite quote. Tend to be leaner, skinnier, more educated, and suffer less from diabetes. This is from the Journal of Clinical Nutrition. What do you think about that, women? Are we going to start sneaking the dark chocolate squares to our men because we want smarter, more educated men? Well, it improves brain function, it improves mood, it improves your offspring. This is a terrific thing that we're having here. Dark chocolate with all these proven benefits? This is an opportunity. Conclusions from a study done right here in California, the University of San Diego, where they found that it helps muscles have more endurance. In fact, they found that there's a greater endurance capacity, 50% greater endurance. Now is that just in athletes? Or is that in you having an extra hour a day to function? How many of you would like one extra hour a day? How about two extra hours a day? That's what this saying. Is this says that you've got the ability to develop more capillaries and mitochondrial function in your cells giving you more energy. Not only in athletes but in the geriatric population as well. Here we have Harvard University that says, another study from Harvard, by the way, that says dark chocolate is among the most important observations in the history of medicine. Wait a minute. In the history of medicine? From a preventive point of view, 
they've published that this may be one of the finest discoveries in all of medicine because it could potentially get rid of four out of five of the most common diseases in the Western world, including cardiovascular disease and stroke. That's important. The body will heal itself if you give it the, health, the proper healthy tools. Who agrees with me on that? With your raise of hands, how many agree this is proven healthy chocolate? How many can think of somebody, somebody in your family, maybe yourself, that could actually have a benefit from what we've talked about today? That's a great thought. How many of you can help yourself? But do you know what it feels like to help others as well? It's a terrific, terrific opportunity. In summary, this is what I do. Take chocolate three times a day. I take the squares. I also use the weight loss shake. Those of you who know me know that when I was standing on this stage a year ago, I was 26 pounds heavier than I am now. Am I a product of my own product? I am. I'm sorry I didn't lose 31 pounds and I didn't lose it in 12 weeks, but I'm on the one pound a week program. I travel enough. I eat out enough. Some people treat me like I should be eating crab and steak every night. But I think continuously taking the chocolate and losing one pound a week while going on with my normal life has been a really terrific program for me. And you might think, oh, it's only one pound a week. But 20 weeks from now, it's a pretty important thing to have happen. So with that in mind, I suggest that because you need to have more antioxidants in your body than free radicals, and you'll bring that tipping point of disease under control if you do that, that you need to have something around three squares a day to get to that basic point. I rarely recommend more than 12 squares of chocolate a day, but I want you to know I travel to Europe and I work with people over there that Jeremy's in introduced me to. They regularly will take 20 squares of chocolate a day because their doctor prescribes it for them. Interesting, the extremes, but here's what I do. I eat three to six chocolate squares a day. Why three to six? Well, it's simple. Every single day that I'm healthy, that I'm well, I'm eating one in the morning, one at noon, one at night. If I feel sick or I'm around a lot of sick people or under a lot of stress or not getting a lot of sleep, I double it to six a day. In my patients that I recommend product for, they get six a day. How come they get six and not three? Well, they never come see me if they're well. So I know that they're sick and they get right off the bat, they get six a day. I recommend one or two weight loss shakes a day for people who are on weight loss, uh, that come to me for weight loss questions. And I consider this to be medicinal chocolate. I like the term healthy chocolate, but playing doctor, I can kind of say the word medicinal. Would you agree this qualifies as medicinal chocolate? In my brain, it is. And, as you can see, is if you take this three times a day, according to the UCLA study, you should live 10 healthful years longer. 10. Who wants 10 extra years? Who wants 10 extra years if you're sick? If you have Alzheimer, if you have Parkinson, you can't remember who you are, people have to take care of you, the choice is yours. A sweeter, happier, chocolate-based life, or, <clears throat> I don't know if I should say what the or is, but I think you can recognize this is a terrific opportunity. I'm closing in the next minute, and you'll be up in one minute. With that in mind, how many of you can think of somebody that needs this chocolate? And how many of you want this chocolate? Because they're two different issues, aren't they? With that in mind, recognize that you have an opportunity here to get this medicinal chocolate, this medicinal benefit. You have to bring it into your life in a way that is like a wave. You know, we're talking about the ocean. I'm linking this to the power of the ocean, which comes in waves. 
Regular routines and rhythms are what change our lives. Things that we do every single day. Dark chocolate taken morning, noon, and night, like the ocean, a wave, every meal, a wave of positive, beneficial, medicinal chocolate. With that, I'm so grateful you came. I'm glad you weathered the storm, and I'd like to turn the time uh, and the important message of healthy chocolate now over to our... Uh,